I'm about as real as they come. All my beats tailored by Joe. Maserati Rick in Detroit. Beat. Convertible bird in Miami. Yeah, Miami yo. Graduated summa cum laude. No. Strip club made a tsunami. Black. Carlton Hines with the ball game. Black. Rayful Edmonds with the snowflakes. No. Craig Pettis in the M Town. Yeah. Sal Magluta with the boat game. <laughs> Falcone with the cocaine. Uh. Like Freeway Ricky with the plug game. Uh. Like Monster Cody in South Central. Uh. Larry Davis from Close uh. Range. Yo, 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 we back. It's your boy, Pop a Lot Mob Ties. We on our way to Brooklyn with it. Fort Greene, to be exact. RV Ingersoll Housing Projects, to be more exact. Shout out all my niggas in Fort Greene. 48 Flea Walk, all my niggas across the bridge in Farragut. I know I'm plugged. Real fucking G shit. Now, today... We gonna be covering a robbing ass nigga. So all my stick up niggas, y'all niggas get in the comment box. All my niggas from Brooklyn, all my niggas from Fort Greene, y'all niggas get in the comment box. Now, we gonna talk a little bit about Kelvin Darnell Martin. Now, a little bit about Kelvin Darnell Martin. He was born July 24th, 1964. And he met his demise October 24th, 1987. But he was also known as 50 Cent. Yep, he's also known as 50 Cent. I'm sure everybody knows by now. And it's no secret that the original 50 Cent got his name from the stick-up artist from Brooklyn. Um, Fort Greene, to be exact. He was, he was, um, that's... I guess the the original 50 cents biggest claim to fame. Um he died at the age of 23. Um he also died in Brooklyn. Like I say he was born in 1964, but what a lot of people don't know about him is he was actually born in the Bronx. Um he later moved to Brooklyn and he was known as 50 Cent. It was a lot of different reasons so people were like oh well he was small um he'll rob anybody for no matter how much money for for 50 cent um so it uh, one people say he entered a dice game with 50 cent and he left with 500 dollars so it's just a lot of rumors swirling around within his young young life for him to be so young when he died it's just an outrageous number of rumors out there about him. Um, and I, I'm going to lean towards it has something to do with his, with his physical stature because he was only 120 pounds and he was about 5'2". But everybody had a story of the, uh, the two blickies that he had with him. Um, so is that those was bigger than anything. Niggas was not trying him. They have the infamous story of him getting into it with Domencio at the notorious Empire Skating Rink. It was also said that he caught LL Cool J slipping for a rope chain in a White Castle parking lot in Brooklyn somewhere. So he was definitely... Um, he was definitely a, a, a jack boy to the fullest. Probably New York's most famous jack boy. If y'all know any other ones um, that y'all would think has the folklore that he does. Of course, we could talk about King Tut, um, different people like that. But I'm, I'm just thinking of how they immortalized the original 50 saying it might have something to do with the name being kept alive by 50 right now. Um, a little bit about his death. Now, it's a lot of speculation as far as his death, why he was killed, and who killed him. So what we going to do is we're going to try to put at least a little bit of that speculation Um Oh, what? Let's get it out of here. So, the one thing we we never gonna know of why he got killed. Um, 
would we can only assume that it has something to do with the way he lived and I don't know about y'all but the stick up kids in my city got the shortest careers ever that shit rivaling the NFL player average the average NFL player play for about what four years or something like that well that shit is about as long as it lasts bigger cities you might have a little a little longer run because certain people ain't gonna probably you ain't gonna come across them again but it's rare that you come across a stick-up kid that was, I guess, as feared as 50 Cent. Um, it's also alleged that he, like, robbed the same some of the same victims over. So it's like, that's rare that that ever happens. But as far as his death, he was shot and killed, like we said, on October the 20th in 1987. Um on the stairway of his girlfriend project building and he died at Kings County Hospital. Shout out my niggas uh my niggas Kings County um, Brooklyn's known known hospital, I guess Brook Brookdale too, but yeah, Kings County. So he died in the hospital four days later after being shot on October twenty fourth in, in nineteen eighty seven. Um he was buried at Silver Mound Cemetery, and I want to say that's in Staten Island. It was alleged that when he was buried, it was no money or the family couldn't come up with any kind of money to put a headstone at his burial site. So the rapper 50 Cent, I want to say, um, paid to have a headstone put there for him. So shout out to 50 for that real nigga shit. Um, and now as far as who killed him, that's, uh, that's the speculation that we can put to rest. Um, the guy that killed him is going to be a guy named Julio Wimo Acevedo. And he was actually convicted of first degree manslaughter and he served about a decade for that. Um, but the kicker to that, as far as this story is concerned, is he is still around and he's still out here. I actually stumbled across him and he ran into some legal troubles of his own. I'm going to let y'all check that out. This one's a little different, but we're going to get into it, man. I appreciate y'all checking in. Y'all follow me on Instagram. Y'all follow me on Twitter. Y'all know I'm only going to bring y'all the real shit. It's your boy Popalot. Mob, 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 ties. What do you want to say to the victim's families? Once again, I apologize. I can't stress remorse no more than I have. I have stressed it to you several times already. There's nothing, I can't bring them back. It was an accident. It was an accident. Again, my remorse goes out to them. I'm sorry, it was an accident. Let's ask the cab driver, why did he run the stop sign? You're sure he did? Positive. Do you think he should be charged, or do you think... Uh, well, uh, we just want to, like, don't make it all on me. Sure, I played a part. I couldn't stop. Accident happened. I'm sad. It was a tragedy. But it wasn't intentional. And you think he bears responsibility? Of course. He was more in the rush than I was. He was rushing the woman to the hospital. What do you think you should be charged with? leaving the scene of an accident. That's it? That's it. It was an accident. Nothing more. You couldn't have prevented it? N no, there's no way. Cab driver ran the stop sign. And you couldn't stop? I couldn't stop. He was right there. The speeding aspect? I was not speeding. They said I went around a fire truck. It's 1230 at night. Cars is parked. How am I going to get around a fire truck doing 70? A fire truck doing 70? You weren't doing 70. You can't even get around a fire truck on that street, more or less with cars parked on one side and the street is narrow. Let me talk about this. Drinking? No drinking. Hadn't been drinking? Not at all. 
Not at all. That's a subjugation. So the reason they're saying the reason you left is maybe you were drinking? They, they're stating all type of reasons, but it's not true. It's not true. Did you know what happened? No, I did not know what happened. All I know is I had an accident. And you left because you were afraid? I was afraid. I knew I wouldn't be treated fairly. I was in shock, and I basically just bunged it off, walked away, just walking. And where did you go after that? I went home. And then at some point you just decided to, that you knew there was going to be- I've seen on the news what happened, and I felt bad. I had to go to my family members, collect money to hire my attorney. And then I turned myself in. I did not get arrested. I turned myself in because I felt bad. But I wanted to come with my attorney. Because I got right now. Who knows if I'm ever coming home? You may never get outside again. Exactly. How does that? That's frightening. It terrifies me. It terrifies me.